tears. Mum has been sick for the last few weeks. Our house has slipped from control into complete chaos. I have moved from a sense of relief to a sense of burden. When Mum began her downward slide, I felt like I'd been reprieved. For brief moments, she wasn't watching my every move, waiting for me to mess up so she could hit me. I could breathe again and actually live my life. This freedom, however, is very short-lived. Before I know it, there is a new role for me to play. Morning comes and I cannot wait to escape to school. It's mentally and emotionally draining to be trapped in a house with someone that is always crying. They have a brand new outfit to wear. Always, I'm looking forward to seeing the reaction of the kids in my class. Finally, I'm going to look as good as any the other seventh graders. The new boy Weasley likes me so I can't wait to see him today. I'd like to hurry. I have to hurry. I'm meeting my friend Katie so that we can walk to school together. I got get dressed, go downstairs immediately. I can tell that Mum is in a very in an even darker place and moves have been erratic lately. I can't think don't really think much about it till now. I should have been paying more attention. I should have seen this coming. During the day, when she's not crying, I notice that she's been rushing around the house in incredibly fast pace. She's also been very busy doing small things like organising a catch up all drawer in the kitchen for hours and hours. She wasn't, hasn't been sleeping at night either. When I get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, she's downstairs in the living room with all the lights on, crochet machine. I was doing needlepoint and wide awake. I wondered how she could go so many nights without sleeping. This morning, the large red bags below her bloodshot eyes occurred to me she was up all night crying again. The pure sadness on her face overwhelms me. I try and ignore the old too familiar sense of despair and go about my morning routine. I have my bowl of cereal for, for, for breakfast. I have me pub, my parents' conversation. Please stay home with me. And begs my dad with a whimper. I can't stay home today, period. I have a very busy day and pull a meeting with my boss, Dad replies. Please, he says, and starts to cry. I don't want to be all alone. Dad directly turns to me. Uh, he has no other option at this point. Do you want to stay at home with your mother today? He asks. I've already showered and dressed for school. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing my friends today. Yes, I can stay home, I say as I think about all that I miss in school, including assembly. But I was really looking forward to and seeing my friends. All that does not matter though. Mum needs me now and her needs come first. Michelle will stay home with you today, Dad says to Mum. I unpack my lunch and put it back into the refrigerator. Oh crap, not again. I just say to myself as a sigh. They're heading down the dark road again. Staying home for most of the kids is a gift. It's not for me. I know what is this. I know this means, and I know what is coming. And this is from the book by Breaking Into My Life Growing Up With Bipolar Parents and My Battle To Reclaim Myself.